Welcome again to the First Church of the Open Bible Devotions. Mark Rogen is with you. Well, the last few weeks we have been talking about maintaining passion for God. And I'm truly enjoying this. But we want to conclude this uh, series, how we can maintain passion for God. And we looked at the life of uh, a, a person called one of the sons of Korah in scripture from Psalms chapter 42 and how he responded in times of calamity and difficulty. There was a deep cry in his heart to long for God, to know more about God. We said that um, the scripture talks about blessed are those who uh, hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled and blessed people I believe they are the ones who go after and seek after God. Now there were those who were critical of this man's God and uh, you know they were critical because they didn't see an answer uh, right away and because of that they were critical but we want to continue to talk about the goodness of the Lord and what the scripture tells us and uh, uh, one, this individual he continued to to draw from his experiences of the good times the good old days of what god has done for him in the past and we too need to remember what the lord has done for us how he has healed us how he has provided how he has kept us how he brought us through covid 19 and the amount of things that god has done for us far outweighs the bad in our lives i truly believe that so let's remember what the lord did for us in the book of psalms chapter 116 uh, it reads from verse 12 what shall i render to the lord for all his benefits toward me i will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the lord i will pay my vows to the lord now in the presence of all his people so the writer of this psalm he said i will take the cup of salvation but he he, he mentioned earlier what shall i render unto the lord for all his benefits i tell you when you serve god there are many benefits psalms 103 says bless the lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits who redeems our lives from destruction who crowns us with love and kindness and tender mercies who forgives all our iniquities and heal all our diseases who is he's the one who renews our youth like the eagle there are many benefits when we serve almighty god so he's remembering he said what shall i re render to the lord for all his benefit towards me there are many benefits god has bestowed on us and let's remind ourselves what he has done and let's not lose focus at all when we lose focus we can go into a place of discouragement a place of depression but when we keep our eyes upon the lord when we keep doing what the lord wants us to do to serve in ministry to use our giftings to use uh, the, the, uh, the things that, you know, the gifts that God has deposited in us for the use of God's kingdom. I believe God is going to, of course, fill us. That's the belief I have. So uh, he said, I will take the cup of salvation. Taking the cup of salvation is really saying, Lord, I am embracing your forgiveness. I am embracing your will for my life. And not only that, he said, I will call upon the name of the Lord let's call upon the name of the lord we can choose to remain it's a choice we can choose to remain in a place of despair or we can rise above the the the, the difficult situation that we face in life it's important for us to remember that god is still good regardless of the uh, mountains that we encounter in life recently i was in a uh, I was asked to share a funeral service for you know this this couple who lost a child. What do you say to this couple who lost a child? It was very challenging. Uh, tears came to my eyes, and uh, how do you console a family like this? God and God alone can do it. The comfort of the Holy Spirit. So I want to encourage you to keep your eyes upon the Lord. So God has granted us benefits and therefore we can draw strength from knowing God will never turn his back on us. Let's take the cup of salvation. We are embracing God's redemptive purpose for our lives. When we, uh, you know, when we of course take the cup of salvation, his mercies and his love. Sometimes in life we can make major blunders, all of us. 
We have made major blunders or blunders in life which can make us feel as a burden to God and even others, a burden to those around us. But let's hold on to God's righteousness and not on our own piety. It's not about us. It's not about the things that we have done that, you know, we are successful. It's because of the goodness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. In conclusion, give God what you promise. He said, I will pay my vows. Give God what you promise. I will pay my vows now in the presence of all his people. In other words, I'm going to be in a community where I could, of course, pay my vows. Um, you know, let's, of course, come into God's house. Do not stay away from the presence of Almighty God. I trust that this series was enlightening as we spoke about maintaining passion for God. And let's continue to uh, maintain that passion. And I believe that passion is contagious uh, with those, you know, we meet on a daily basis. We can share that passion with others. I want to offer a word of prayer as we officially end. Almighty God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Help us to remain that passion, uh, remain passionate for you, Lord. Lord, remove discouragement, remove depression, remove, oh God, all the lies and the tr tricks of the enemy. Help us to remain focused and committed to your, to you and to the work of the ministry. In Jesus' name we pray thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you richly.